Ethan Red here. Today we're gonna go ahead and unbox the new Helium Bobber 500. We're also going to look at the Freedom Phi CBRS radio. So as we are going to unbox the Bobber 500 by Bobcat, we're also gonna go ahead and take a look at the Freedom Phi CBRS radio and how these two uh, join together. Now, a couple of things that I wanna let you know of where we're gonna be placing this antenna and this whole entire system. It, you do not want this thing to be inside of your house. People are thinking that the 5G antenna should be a good placement inside of your home, when in actuality, it's not. The best place for this is gonna be either at an airport, a mall, or any type of indoor closure where there's a lot of traffic. That's where you want this to be deployed. Right now, they are not deploying any rewards for HNT at this moment. However, as this goes on, we're talking probably about the end of spring is when you're going to start seeing all of the rewards through HNT. So it looks like the outside is like a hard plastic. Some of it is metal. Yeah, this is really well done. Bobcat, you've done it again. Everything is by far none of the best. So if I were you, I would highly recommend you uh, going on Bobcat. So let's check this out. So here's what we've got so far. So I'm showing this actually has a little bracket and I believe this just locks like this. Okay, cool. So that actually slides out. Again, hard plastic, really, it's built really well. On the bottom here, you're going to see DC 12 volt. You see your BTN, which is your Bluetooth button. And then you've got uh, your ENB and WAN, USB, and then you've got LoRa. So your LoRa antenna, which is just your general antenna, is gonna go right here. Next, you're going to plug this into your WAN. The other line is gonna be going into your internet, your ethernet, okay? Now, the only other cord that you're going to be plugging this into is the ENB. That will actually go into your Freedom Phi CBRS small cell uh, antenna. So you'll be going from the antenna and we'll be hooking this up, but it'll go from here into the ENB only. Your WAN is gonna be direct, or going directly from the ethernet cord, your router into the WAN. Don't worry about the USB for right now. And then obviously we've got your DC 12 volt that you're gonna be plugging in for power. Now, we'll rack this up on top of the wall and then we will slide this, which will go like this. After we're done. And then that will mount just like this. Very nice and light. I literally thought it was gonna be extremely heavy. And then we've got our just our normal cords. So if you take a look at this, you've got your antenna here. Okay, just do it to, to where it's got a good secure. You don't want it too loose either because at times when you're moving this around, it can actually unscrew lightly. So I always recommend just do it as tight as possible just with, uh, just with your hand. Okay is we've got your power. Again, this is uh, DC volt. So here's your ethernet cord that's going just from the CBRS antenna. Again, that'll be for E and B. And that will go in there. We'll do that in just one second. Okay. And then lastly, we've got the actual remaining device for power. We're gonna plug that into the back of the device here. So again, this one is showing DC and you've got it right there, okay? We'll plug this right into the wall and we'll plug this right into the antenna. And again, right before, we'll go ahead and put the ethernet in there. And at the very top, you'll see right here, you'll have LTE, which is your 4G. You've got sync, 
power and wham okay you'll want to make sure that all of those lights are on okay your lte will come on uh, not all the time but again it will uh, flash next piece is you've got your gps now for the 5g to actually work you're going to need to go ahead and screw this in and this piece right here will be a little sticky and you'll actually put this in your window this way your your coordinates will actually be specific. You'll have your power right here. This you'll have your power, and then you'll have your WAN and LAN. Then this will be right towards your miner. That's pretty much it. So on the next piece, what we're going to do is we're gonna show it being set up. I'm gonna go ahead and I have it deployed into our mall where there's a lot of traffic, okay? and. Uh, so this is where we're going to want to go ahead and set up the antenna. This is where people will be able to use 5G network off of his internet.